All right, team. YouTube's right to monetize basically means if you don't have monetization, they'll monetize it and take the money. Just read it for yourself. This whole year has been complete shit for a lot of people who have lost jobs and homes. And if YouTube actually gave a fuck about anyone, they'd rescind a few of their quote-unquote rules, including that right to monetize bullshit. And they would allow people to make any amount of money at all using YouTube. Uh, which reminds me, uh, let's see, they changed their user agreement terms of service bullshit so many times. Let's see, one was you have to start making money in order to stay in the partner program. Next day, they changed it uh, to, you have to have yay so many uh, views on your channel. Then the next day, they changed it, and that was years ago they changed it. Now it's up to yay so many, um, yay so many subscribers, or people who have chosen to click on the subscribe button, as I like to say it. And yay so many watch hours within the last yay so many months. And then this right to monetize bullshit is the latest change. If they cared about people keeping their homes and providing, well, the basic necessity of food and a place to live for their family, they'd uh, rescind a few of those rules and loosen it up a great deal. But the only message that this sends is that they don't care. <sighs> because of bureaucratization and corporatization. Kind of like how in the online gaming uh, scenes, various games you can point to, they're saying, no real world money transactions in our game. Well, with YouTube being a bitch like this, and everyone who supplies, quote-unquote, supplies a product, such as, oh, I don't know, food, which prices have nearly quadrupled on in the last year, people need to make money to buy that food to eat, to stay alive, now don't they? This whole year... They could have undone those bullshit things. But all this is is bureaucratization and corporatization of industries doubling down on saying we don't care if you can't make money, if you've lost your job and home and all you have is a, a few months left on your cell phone and you're sitting in a street or under a bridge being homeless, we're not going to allow you to make money because we don't care. That's the message that the entire American way of life is sending to all the people who have lost so much this year. If they did care, then uh, people in the gaming industry would be like, okay, we'll allow you to do this real-world money transaction, but only yay so much per month. Because we don't want to lose all the money in from revenue in this, this games here. And YouTube would be like, okay, 
for the immediate foreseeable future, why not just open it up and say, everyone can go make money now on YouTube. Doesn't matter if you don't have hundreds of hours of watch time and thousands of subscribers. Or, as I choose to say, people who have chosen to subscribe. They would loosen these restrictions so that any of you who have a channel, who've got a couple of videos up, could make money to get food, to stay alive, to pay fucking bills, to keep your home. If they cared. But all that says is that they don't. When did this get sent to me? November 18th, 12.24 p.m. Two days ago. I just now checked it. <sighs> the first sentence is, you're receiving this email because we're updating the YouTube Terms of Service to clarify our terms and provide transparency to our users. Well, it's transparently clear to me that YouTube doesn't care about anyone. And at the bottom it says, by continuing to use YouTube after this date, uh, when it takes effect, you are agreeing to the new terms. No, YouTube. You're deluding yourself. I'm not. I don't consent to this tyranny. And this blatant violation of so many people's rights. Most notably, their unalienable right to their lives. Because people need, only because it's a socially accepted, accepted axiom, need money to buy food pay rent and other bills to have a home to live in and food to eat. Also, it's things like this, YouTube, this right to monetize bullshit that makes it evidently clear that you deserved the YouTube headquarters shooting a few years ago. Well, it's quite simple because you're corrupt. Not giving a fuck about anyone else in existence other than yourselves is corrupt. And if I didn't care, I wouldn't have made this video saying these things. If I didn't care, I wouldn't point out the historic events. I wouldn't point out things that are being done wrong, and I wouldn't have said that you should undo a vast majority of these things and help people. If I didn't care, I wouldn't have made this video. YouTube, your bullshit policy is bullshit. There's so many other things that need to be said. But no, not right now. Well, I know that if I try and put a link in someone else's um, inbox or, well, I've done this before, inboxes, um, 
channel comments. If I try to draw attention, YouTube is just gonna try and censor even delete those comments. Not even let them appear. Just block them entirely. They've actually done it to someone who is posting comments on my videos without me asking them to or saying to hide or remove or censor or edit at all. They just take it on themselves like social justice faggots. YouTube, you have so much wrong with you. Just so fucking much. And I already know it's gonna get a lot worse. Oh well. Don't say you weren't warned, everyone. It's gonna get worse. So much worse.